Here's a question for you. What do Mr. Beast, the Sideman, and Sniper Wolf have in common? They all have reaction channels. Now, these are channels where you react to videos and you make millions of dollars doing so. Who wouldn't like that? The only problem you have is you're not sure how to make those videos. And that's where I come in. In today's video, I'll be sharing you exactly how you make these videos and how you can go viral with them. I have found a viral strategy that they use to get millions and millions of views. Now you can be the next one. Mr. Beast is currently getting 146 million views per month on his reaction channel. This is making hundreds of thousands of dollars. He, along with his friends, are simply reacting to content on the internet. And by doing that, they get millions of views. I've already made a video about why these channels blow up. You can watch it by clicking the link in the description. It's time to create the videos so that you can pull millions of views too. We're gonna be using a four step strategy. Step number one is choosing your niche. Your niche on YouTube is very important and with reaction channels, it's no different. There are a few approaches that you can take. Here are my favorite ones. First of all, decide whether you want to build a brand in a specific industry so that you can sell products or you just want views and that's all you care about. Now I know the tempting answer is you just want views. However, make sure you think about it. Do you want to build a personal brand? If yes, you want to make sure to choose a niche that you like yourself too. Otherwise, you're going to burn out. If you want to build a personal brand, you want to focus in a specific industry. If you just want to get views, you want to choose something that applies to the masses. Mr. Beast is a great example of that. If we take a look at his videos right here, technically anyone could click on these videos. Most popular TikToks, impossible odds, stupidest things billionaires own. There's no certain demographic that likes these videos or doesn't like these videos. It depends on the person, meaning it applies to the masses. However, for example, my own reaction channel, Yuri's Automation World, is specifically made for people that like YouTube automation. And because of that, I limit myself in terms of the views I can get. However, I'm building a personal brand in a specific industry. So choose whether you want to build a brand or just want to get views. And then third of all, you want to make sure that there is enough content for you to react to because otherwise you're going to have a hard time growing your channel. Especially in the beginning, it's important to upload a lot so that you can build up that backlog of videos plus you can gain some traffic. Number two, equipment. What do you actually need to start a reaction channel? It's fairly simple, but there are a few things that you can do to make the process even better. So you need a camera or you can simply use your phone to to film yourself. You need a microphone, which doesn't need to be expensive at all. You can use a cheap one or a more advanced one. First of all, you need a screen recording software. I'm using OBS Studio. This allows you to record in 1080p, full HD, 50 or 60 FPS. Then to record your audio from the microphone that you've got, you can use Audacity. Audacity is the software I use right now to record this video. And then finally, for your thumbnails, you can use Photoshop or you can use Canva. It all depends on your skill set. If you're advanced, you can do Photoshop and you can probably make it work perfectly. If you're not that advanced yet and you're just getting started, I do recommend Canva as it's much easier. Now that is all the equipment, but how do you make it work together? Well, let me show you. All right, so obviously I'm recording with my camera right now. That is step number one. Once your camera is recording, what you need to do is go to OBS Studio and you need to click start recording, which obviously I'm recording too because I'm making this video. Then next up, you wanna make sure that your microphone is connected to Audacity, which is the software you use to record your audio and you simply click on the button right there so that you can start recording your audio. Now in the edit, you're gonna sync all of these together. You've got all the stuff you need to create a reaction video. Now all that's left is to go to a YouTube video that you wanna to react to and simply start reacting. It's a pretty straightforward process, but it does wonders. Now depending on who you are and what kind of budget you've got, you can either find people that do research on which videos to react to. I'm pretty busy, I've got a lot of stuff to do. I don't have time to browse around on YouTube all day to find stuff to react to. And because of that, I've actually got a team member that does this for me. I've got someone on the team that makes sure to put all the videos about YouTube automation in the list right there so that I can start reacting to them and grow the channel. Now that person simply creates a list right here, adds them in here, I can click, I can click on this link and I start reacting. Even if you don't need someone to do the research, I still recommend setting up a Trello board like this so that you can keep track of which videos you've reacted to already and which you haven't yet. Now what's even better is that if you don't want to mess around with all these different files, you can actually do it within OBS itself. If you can see right here, I've got video capture device. Currently, this is not plugged in as I'm recording with my camera, but right here, which you cannot see, I've got a webcam. I'll take a picture, I'll show you. 
on my monitor so that I can also react with the webcam. If I click right there, I plug it in, my webcam now shows up in the top right corner. You can check out my reaction channel, you'll see what that looks like. And because of that, I can now easily film. I don't need the camera, I don't need anything. So that's a quick hack that you can set up. And here's how you do it. You open up OBS, you click on the plus right there, you click video capture device, you click OK, and then you simply select your webcam that shows up right here. Now this right there is the built-in webcam from my laptop, which we don't want to use. As long as I plug in the real one, it's going to show up and then I can add it in the top right corner. Now reacting itself is not going to get you views and it's not going to make you rich. So let's find out which videos you should react to. Now this all depends on the niche, but here's a viral strategy that I use myself to find out which videos to react to. I simply open up YouTube in a private window. Next up, I type in a keyword in the industry that I react in. In this case, YouTube automation. I simply type in YouTube automation and there you go. I now have all of these videos that are showing up about YouTube automation. I'm even showing up myself, which is a good sign, means I'm ranking. I like that. However, what you now do, you go to filters, you click on this week or this month, depending on the period that you want to select it to. I'll go this month and then I'll go view count. And then I'm going to find the most relevant and the most well-performing videos about YouTube automation in the last few weeks, which in this case is from Chris the guy. This video right there is getting the best results. This tells me that I can react to this video because this video is good already. So here's what you don't want to do when you create reaction videos. You don't want to react to bad videos. If it's a bad video, you can make your reaction great. However, because the original watch time on the video is low, chances are yours is lower too, or at least it's going to be much harder. If you react to videos that are performing great, like this video right here by Chris the guy, that tells me that the watch time on this video is probably great, meaning that if I react to it, it will be great too. Or at least the part where we're watching his video is gonna be good. By using that strategy, you can create a list of videos that you can react to each week. React to all of them, upload your videos, and then at the end of the month, take a look at your data to figure out which videos work well when you react to them. Now that's just me and YouTube automation, but this works with everything. If you wanna react to some more drama, you wanna create crazy titles so that you can get a high CTR, reacting to crazy Karens might be a good option. So then you type in crazy Karens, you simply filter for this month or this week or this year, you click view count, and then you'll see the best current videos on that specific topic. You can now scroll down, find a video that you want to react to, and simply go down the list because these have already gone viral. This is proof of concept, which is a big thing on YouTube. Make sure that when you upload a video, always link back to the original video in your description so that you give them credit, as well as link your video to theirs so that YouTube knows these are related, which could get you some more views. Please let me know if you're planning to start a reaction channel and if this video helped. If you want more technical stuff, every single little step in the process, let me know by leaving a like on the video and comment and watch this video right there to learn more about what I do and YouTube automation.